Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to delete a Norton antivirus trial if one came with your computer and you'd rather use something else. So you can see Norton down here in the right hand corner and if we double click on that it'll come up and we can see subscription status 30 days remaining. So um, we don't particularly want to be bothered after 30 days to renew something that we don't even want on our system so let's go ahead and get rid of it. Click on the start button and start typing in control panel and you should see control panel as an option. Go ahead and click there and then um, just make sure that in view by choose small icons right we can maximize this window and then we'll go to programs and features. So it's in here that you'll find all the software that's already installed with your computer. And we're going to go down to Norton Security Ultra in this case, but you may have something else. Uh, here it is popping up wanting us to set it up. So that has nothing to do with the click I just made. Let's close that. Um, as this computer's just been turned on and Norton wants to fully activate, right? But we don't want that. So we're going to click here and then click up on uninstall change and then click yes to the prompt and then we should get this whole thing here of course they want to give you a nice offer we're going to say skip offer with the button down here and we want a full uninstall so uninstall Norton and remove all my user data right and this is an important thing unselect this box Right, because Norton Security Scan is like a this little mini Norton antivirus that they want to leave on your system, but you don't want that. So let's clear that box as well, and then go ahead and click uninstall. And looks like we got to click it once again because they want to tell us why thing. Let's go uninstall once more. Right, and you can close any other windows to minimize distractions. Submitting error reports, interesting. Okay, so uh, something to think about. If, oh, there we go. We've already got this done. We're gonna, I'm not gonna restart right now. Let's just get this out of the way and I want to show you something else which is if you click on the start button and start typing in the word defender oh you could have typed in security as well we want to go to Windows security right so engine unavailable we're gonna to have to load updates this is the uh, built-in Windows antivirus so you want to go in here and make sure that everything's okay so that you have something running at least until you've replaced Norton with something else if you wish to. So here we're just getting the updates for that. Um, this machine isn't using a Microsoft account. So there's additional um, functionality that comes along with that, but we don't want to hook into that. So I'm going to dismiss this here. So when we now have a green light on everything, green check mark, uh, aside for the, from these updates here. So uh, let's see, OneDrive for, okay, so again, we don't want to use OneDrive on this machine. You can go ahead and set that up if you wish, but I'm going to dismiss that as well. Oh, it's not letting me do a simple dismiss. I probably have to reboot at this point, um, but go back into Windows Security and uh, double check that everything is okay there so that you do have something. And when you do open it up, right click and pin to taskbar so that the icon's always there and readily available for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot this machine and Norton will be gone. Thanks for watching.